this video, we're going to dive into the Spirals RPG dice pool mechanic and how we use that to make skill checks in the game. As you fill in skill wheels, you improve your chances of success by improving and expanding your dice pool. But let's start at the very beginning. A character with no completed skill wheels is given a dice pool of 2d20. This is matched with two key dice. Key dice are always d6. This gives us a dice pool of 2d20 and 2d6. The aim is to get combinations of dice that total 7. It must be a combo. Individual 7s don't count. As you can see here, the dice gods have failed me and I didn't get a success. The number of successes necessary for a skill check to be successful is dependent on the difficulty of the task. This is set by something called an SC or success criteria. A tricky task might require one success from your dice pool. A very difficult task might require two successes. Something absolutely legendary, almost impossible, would require three successes. Think about it, that's impossible if you're rolling with four dice. You can't get three successes. So it should be something that's an absolute legendary action. As you improve your characters and you fill in more of those segments and wheels, you improve your dice pool. In this instance, I'm rolling with 2d12 and then my key dice of 2d6. You can see though that the dice are still not with me, I didn't manage a success. As we improve even further though, and we start to be rolling dice pools of d6, this is where we start to see success more often. Here, I've got multiple ways of making a 7, but I can only make one 7, that's one success. Hopefully I've achieved what I wanted to do. Once a character gets even stronger, they start rolling with three dice instead of two. And you then get three key dice as well. Here I'm rolling 3d12 and 3d6. I managed to get one success again from my five and my two. The seven on the d12 doesn't count because it has to be a combination of dice. The best dice pool you can possibly get in this game is when you're rolling 3d6 plus your three key dice as well. This is your big chance to get sevens. Here I roll my 6d6 and because the dice hate me, I only manage one solitary success. That's how the dice pool mechanic in Spirals RPG works and how we put it to the test with skill checks. Skill checks are the backbone of the Spirals game. We use them out of combat and in combat, in social interactions and feats of athleticism. You're going to make a lot of skill checks in your game and remember every skill check you make, pass or fail, you get one better in that skill. Spirals are always growing.